In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can quickly solve direct integrals using our calculator, which are very useful in solving uh, big problems during the examination and also help in reducing the room for uh, silly mistakes. Now, uh, if, if for those who don't know, this button in the calculator is used for direct integration. So suppose I want to calculate integral sine square x from 0 to 5. I will write integral sine x square and the range will be from 0 to 5. Remember, uh, our r has to be in radians here. So if you don't know how to change it, I have already explained it on video. I'll just quickly tell you again. Uh, you have to go to main shift setup angle unit and change that to 2 radian and uh, if you press equal to now it will give you the value as pi by 2 so directly we can calculate this so in in my personal view i never used to sit and solve these manually during the examination if it was a big problem in which calculating sine square x integral 0 to pi was a small part i used to directly write else what i used to do was simply right 0 to pi sine square x dx is equal to however we write that right so 0 to pi 1 minus cos 2x by 2 dx and straight away i mean now now it's up to you if you want to write an optimal step or not you can either write 0 is equal to pi by 2 or is equal to integral 0 to pi 1 by 2 dx minus integral 0 to pi cos 2x by 2 dx is equal to pi minus so whatever sin so sin 2x by 4 0 to pi 2 is equal to pi by 2 so now it's your own judgment whether you want to write such a long procedure or you want to directly write or you want to write a step in between and finally verify your answer so what I used to do as I have already explained and I am reiterating that if it's a long problem in which this was just a small step, I used to directly write the answer else I used to uh, write maybe one step in between but ultimately write the answer what calculator gave me. Similarly if I have to calculate the uh, integral 0 to pi sin 2x, very similar fashion, so sin 2x will give me 0. So I mean this we can directly write. So, uh, so yeah, for the, uh, not just trigonometric functions, if you have to calculate integral 0 to 10 x square dx or something, then in that case, you don't have to calculate it manually. Maybe you can write x cube by 3, 0 to 10 and simply use the calculator to, to write it or do it on your own. It's up to you. So integral x square dx 0 to 10. So that will give me. By three. I'm, the examples that I'm giving are very easy to calculate by hand also, but I'm sure you are able to see how we can use this in the exam. Uh, now suppose you have to calculate integral 0 to pi sine to the power 8x. Let's try that. So that has given me some, some value which I cannot really use in my uh, answer because in the answer you have to uh, right in terms of uh, say a uh, pi and all right so in these cases you're expected to solve it completely maybe either remember the beta function or use Wally's formula for the same but you can verify your answer using the calculator ultimately so uh, so use your judgment i don't think in these kind of small problems we are actually required to write the complete steps but in these kinds of problems, it's better if you use the formula and ultimately use the calculator to verify our answer if necessary. Now I'll show you uh, how I use my calculator to verify my answers in, uh, in the exam. So this is what came in the paper one of my year, 2022. And I, I rarely use the calculator to verify my answer and make sure that it was correct. So the question is to use double integral to calculate the area common to the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4 and the parabola y square is equal to 3x. Now I have already drawn the circle and the parabola and now let's try to solve it with calculator and without calculator. So 
uh, basically we need to find this area so th th this part of the uh, area and uh, I'm just going to quickly find out the points of intersections this one and this one so y square is equal to 3x so if I write x square so I'm, I'm just considering this part as my rough portion here in the exam the final few pages can be used for that or you can write here finding points of intersection and, and solve it. So x square plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Quickly use the calculator to solve the equation. 1, 3, minus 4. So x is 1 and minus 4. So this is going to be when x is equal to 1 y square is equal to 3, so y is equal to plus or minus root 3. Just writing that here. So 1 comma root 3 and 1 comma minus root 3. So this is our area and what I can uh, now say is suppose we calculate uh, this area and if we multiply that by 2 that will give us the complete area. So the area is equal to twice of now we are going from so uh, we are writing x here so x x ranging from pi square by 3 to under root 4 minus y square and y ranging from 0 to root 3 d y sorry d x d y just quickly checking the correct y is equal to root 3 x from y square by 3 to root of 4 minus 1 right so this will give us 2 integer y is equal to 0 to root 3 root of 4 minus y square minus 2 y is equal to 0 to root 3 y square by 3 dy dy now we need to calculate these separately so I'm just going to use my calculator to do this so integral the root 4 minus square 0 to root 3. That's given me. I'm just going to write this in the uh, rough work. 2 into 2.9604 plus minus 2 into under root y square divided by 3 from 0 to 2, 3 and so into 0 0.5773 just writing this in my uh, bracket in my rough form now I am going to solve this manually so let's take the first one 2 root 4 minus y square dy 0 to root 3 is equal to 2. Uh, what's the formula? I'm just going to quickly check. I don't need to remember these formula anymore. I had remembered them once upon during the exam. But you need to remember them. So please bear with me. So if, Again, if you forget or something and you need a quick reference, you can always use Wolfram alpha integral square root of a square minus x square. So, 2 
4 minus y square will be uh, y by 2 under root 4 minus y square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a 0 to root 3 which is 2 root 3 by 2 into 1 minus 0 plus 2 sin inverse root 3 by 2 sorry sin inverse I know it's 5 by 3, but you can still use this if you're confused in the exam. 2 pi by 3 minus 0. That will give me root 3 minus 4 pi by 3. Now let's see if this is equal to 2 into 2.90. 9604 Now I should have got this but I am getting this I think there is some error in my calculation so this is what happened to me in the exam also so uh, now I already see what the error is that here it's plus here it's plus here it's plus here i wrote minus so this is plus it gives me so 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 and, and now if you see this value is exactly equal to 2.9604 let's just check that yes so this part we have calculated correctly the next part um so 2 integral 0 to root 3 y square by 3 dy is equal to 2 and y cube by y cube by 9 0 to root 3 0 to root 2 by 9 3 root 3 equal to 2 by root 3 let's calculate 2 by root 3 that is 1.15 and let's see what's 2 into 0. Point, let's see what this value is. 2 into 0. 0.5773 is yeah 1.15. And I think that was also 1.15. Yeah. So that means we have calculated it correctly. And our final answer I'm just going to write here because of lack of space. So one becomes equal to root 3 plus 4 pi pi 3 plus sorry, minus 2 2 3 by 3 2 root 3 by 3 which is equal to 4 pi by 3 plus 1 by root 3 now if we want we can compare this with our actual answer also so if i can get 2 into 2.9604 minus 1.15 that will give me 4.7708 and this would give me 4 pi by 3 plus 1 by root 3 which is the same answer so I am sure now that my answer is most probably correct if I have performed this part correctly. So yeah, this is how we can greatly uh, use the calculator to solve uh, or to verify integration problems in the exam. Thank you so much.